Howdy folks, my name's Darren from RC Scale Models. Today I have another kit for you. This is another review kit. This is from Hobby Wasps. This is 135 scale. This is their Tiger 2 Henschel turret reduction. So if you're wondering what I mean by this is the early version, the prototypes and stuff, had a different turret. Um, was done by Crop, I think. And they didn't like it, so they got another company to design the turret, which was Henschel, which is the turret you see here, which is more square. Um, if you want more detail on it, uh, check out the video from the Tank Museum. They go into a little bit more detail, because um, they've got Tiger 2 there, which is pretty cool. So I'm not going to go into it, because I don't really know it the, the uh, information and the history on it too much. I don't want to say it and completely screw it up and... So check that video out and they uh, explain it much better. But I'd say this one also comes with Zimmer at this kit. So Tiger 2, Henschel Turret, 1944 production with turret, with Zimmer. Um, the kit's a uh, pretty decent kit. I paid only £25 for this from the Tank Museum. I got an absolute bargain on it because it's on, on, on sale at the moment. So I couldn't say no to that because I just bought some books and stuff, more reference books and, and stuff that I, I have been collecting lately. On this side we have some marking options, schemes. This one here is white, but the actual uh, tank wouldn't actually be painted white like that. It would actually be a whitewash. You get Zimrit, which is like a... It's done like really thin plastic. Um, so we'll check that out. Decals and, you, and your photo etch for your grills. Um, the kit was released in 2008 by Hobby Boss. Um, the first version was pretty much the same kind of box art, but apart from this tank wasn't here, but the kind of picture was the same. They re-released it with new parts in this one, which again was 2008. They released this kit five times in one year. Um, the new parts that are added in this kit, I can't actually tell you what they are because they don't explain it. But this is released in 2008. The kit number is 84531. And there's some more schemes. The typical camouflage versions. You've got a uh, red and brown camouflage. A camouflage turret with a uh, yellow hull. So... It's a typical top opening box from Hobby Boss. It is stuffed with loads of goodies. You get your worksheet, which is a nice thick booklet. Two pages of schemes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Screws, the tracks, which is link on nick, the lower hole, upper hole, dry sprockets, clear turret. We just got loads of equipment and pieces in here, just loads and loads of stuff. So we're going to take a closer look at this now. Okay, this is your worksheet. It's a nice book, a little bit of information, your warning symbols, the several things, so bending, decals, paint, glue, whatever. On your first page, we have all your sprues and all the stuff you get in the kit, and now you have uh, some options how you want to do it. You can do it with Zimmerit or without. It's tied up to you. Plus the one without Zimmerit has got like these extra plates that go over the grills. Why you'd want to do that I don't know. Me personally I thought wouldn't that overheat the engine but I don't know. So your first step is the lower hole which is a bathtub hole and then you've got these extra pieces go on the front and then you're working on your torsion bar suspension 
left and right sides, which is here. Flip it over, attach your road wheels, which will come in two halves, sandwich them together. These are the, looks like the inner wheels, which is here. And then you've got the outer wheels, again two halves, sandwich them together, which go on the, which go on the outer ones. And then you've got your um, return roller, drive sprocket. Again, two halves and your transmission case. Uh, I'll advise leaving these off towards the end. So when you come to do the tracks, you can adjust it. Your return rollers, I think these are. Tracks, as I say, link on link tracks. So you've got inner piece, outer piece, inner piece, outer piece. And then you've got your, your pins. Um, there's a little trick I would, I'd recommend that you should try. When come building these, I found out by another uh, modeler. I'll explain that when we come to take a look at the tracks. It saves um, losing parts and it, it makes it, the build time a little bit quicker. The uh, back of the tank, actually, sorry, the front of the tank. If you are doing Zimbra, uh, don't forget to put the Zimbra on. And then the same as the back of the tank, if you're putting the zimmer on, before you attach all the exhaust system and stuff, you have to put the zimmer on first. And then you can attach all the bits around it, because otherwise you won't be able to fit it on properly. So zimmer on or zimmer off, optional. Then your exhaust system, um, equipment for repairing tracks and towing and stuff, I think that is. A wooden block, I'm not sure what they use that for shield around the exhaust system i've seen some tanks that don't have these or some have one only like it's been replaced or damaged so they just take it off so this tank i might actually do it quite beat up but still running if you know what i mean so i might put one of these on the side fenders are going to be missing and bits here and there and it's going to be like in proper worn condition but still running if you know what i mean uh your jack going on the bottom uh, so fitting your the back piece of the tank on I wouldn't have the tracks on yet I'd would, I would probably leave that towards the end as well because you want to paint them separately and they're asking for no glue on your tow hooks upper hole flipping it over on the inside, you've got couplers going in and machine gun port section, which is here. Flip it, flip it over. If you're doing the zimmer, again, attach all the zimmer to the sides and the front before you attach all the uh, skirts and equipment, because otherwise you won't be able to fit the uh, zimmer on. Again, I'm going to do this with the zimmer that comes in the kit, but I'm going to kind of like chip it and break it up so it's the zimmer's coming away. So it's going to be a proper worn up, beat up tiger, but it's still running. Machine gun's going to be put in on the inside. Um, I'm not sure what the machine gun they use on the inside. It could be the, uh, is it the MG32? It could be, I'm not 100% sure on that. Your rear engine deck, put in the hatch together, air filters, which is air filters, smaller parts, I'm not sure what they are. And then you can drop that down. And then you've got your covers. So you've got two options here to follow this option with the covers. Or you've got this option here with the covers, which has... No, not that one. This one here has got like these covers that go over the uh, grates. But I don't know why they do that. So this option here, um, I'll probably be doing this one. Uh, tools going on. Again, I'll leave that towards the end because you'd want to paint these separately and, and then glue them on. Your tow hooks, paint them and then glue them on. Again more tow, tow cables, paint these before you're sticking them on 
more tools again paint all that before sticking it on you're working on your grills grills go down as normal a little bit of ca glue the hatches you can have open or closed but if you have them open i don't really see the point because there's no interior so it's going to be boring if you do look inside so you'll probably have them closed anyway more tools again like i mentioned leave it to the end you have these other grills that go on the front ones like these triangle piece ones the standard front light going in brackets uh, they can go on because they'll be painted as the same color as the tank what are they asking for here yeah the completed section i know sorry this is the other section now so if you're having the uh tank without zimmer this is and they've got different grills on the back and covers so this is one without zimmer again same same kind of uh, steps tools again just paint them and then stick them on tools grills go down as normal and then you've got these weird covers that go over the grills again i don't know why they would do that me personally i thought it would overheat the engine but it probably not but i don't know it, it might be for a desert version as well for um keeping the dust out of the engine i don't know i've tried to find research on this and i can't seem to find anything so uh, if anyone knows comment down in the comments if you know why this version has got covers your side skirts going on again i'm going to only put only so many on not the full cover so it's worn because again i've seen tigers that have, the one in the tank museum has only got a couple of pieces on the side it's got no fenders or anything because it's been beat up and it was abandoned and we uh, not captured it but yeah essentially we did capture it even though we didn't need to um so we did captured it and brought it over to england uh dropping the two holes together asking for your front vendors going on again i might even just leave these off completely your side fenders going on at the front you don't have to do those you can it's all optional rear fenders again i've seen tigers without any rear fenders because they've been ripped off or they just get in the gray and the crew doesn't bother repairing them commander's cupola two rings and you've got the uh vision ports which are the uh, couplers which are, are clear i believe in this kit and then you've got the uh, framing for it turn upside down you've got some brackets extra framing and the uh, actual hatch itself the front gun mantlet comes as three parts excuse me we've got another hatch here and you have some internal handles and stuff the back hatch of the turret i think they use for loading comes in three parts and then the, then the actual hinges and then you got this piece on the inside i don't know what that actually is and you have a your main gun again there's a nice touch on this kit it's molded as one piece it's not slide molded but it's just molded as one piece there is a slight burr line so a couple of swipes with a uh, buffer or your blade of your knife just look a couple of scrapes down it just to get that burr line out and you'd be a job boost job would be a good one on that so it should be easy to do then your breech section being put together and then you've got the uh, recoil piston arms it's such a big gun i think it's the 88 millimeter gun on this the tiger that uses they use on the tiger uh some more parts of the breech and machine gun assembly uh and then attaching that to the lower hole upper hole section again before you put on the tracks do hanging brackets all the accessory points if you're doing zimmer attach the zimmer first do whatever you need to do it by chipping it up or whatever and on the inside you need to drill out some holes it doesn't actually say what size it's for some brackets and stuff making sure they're square it should be quite easy to do we have some kind of hatch Flip the uh, turret back over again and then attach inside the uh, one of the uh, internal walls. 
I think this is what supports the uh, gun actually. Uh, you've got some pieces on the inside. Not sure what these are. That that's a cupola by the looks of things. I'm not sure what these are though. You have some handles by the looks of things. Sandwiching the two halves together, but don't forget you've got to slide the gun through the front first. <clears throat> you've got another hatch. Um, this piece here, I don't know what that is. Could be another vision port of some sort. Oh. Commander's hatch going in. Then you've got your hanging brackets for the uh, tracks and your back door going in that you've built up previously. You've got your bracket for your machine gun to go on, which goes up by the commander's cupola, uh, commander's hatch. Again, I'm not going to put all eight tracks on, I'm going to only put a couple of them on. Um, sliding on over the gun mantlet, and then repeating the same process on the other side. I'm only going to use a couple of tracks. Putting in the uh, MG32, I believe the machine gun is. This one here is without zimmer, so you pre pretty much repeat the process, but don't stick the zimmer on. But all the, uh, the all, everything else is the same. But these little tabs, they uh, ask you to sand off for the non-zimmer version. If you're putting the zimmer on, which which what it what it look like, sandwiching the two halves together, so dropping down your turret. And this one here is non-zimmer, which has the uh, covers on the grills. Which I, I, I'm positive though, this is the desert version. I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. So here's one of the paint schemes. Your typical German green, brown, and yellow. Tank number two three three. Doesn't actually say where it was. I do find that with Hobby Boss and Trumpeter and stuff, they don't explain on their markings where the vehicle is. I try to look up these tanks and have no no luck, so I can't say where these tanks are coming from. Um, we've got one here in what well, looks like desert colours, but I'm not again I'm not sure if it is. It's brown and yellow. This scheme here, again, it's the camouflage and it's tank 214. This one here looks like it's a uh, repair tank. So they obviously uh, got a new hull and attached the turret to it. That's why it's half painted and half not. This scheme here. We have camouflage. This is tank 224, camouflage, but no numbers, another camouflage, 104, and then you've got tank 131, again I've tried to find this, every time I do 131 it comes up with the Tiger, but 131 from the museum and it's the Tiger 1, um, so I don't know what they mean by this, um, but again it's in white. The tank actually wouldn't be painted pure white like that, it would actually be camouflage or whatever, camouflage underneath and the top coat would actually be a whitewash. So the tank actually wouldn't be pure white. Here's one of the grills, the triangle ones. For the King Tiger. Uh, and then you have these ones which are your circle, square ones and fine detail pots. And basic markings. Have a quick which is inside this. I do apologise if this is going to be a little bit of a lengthy video than normal because there's a lot of plastic in this kit. I do like the uh, they they do a little bit of sellotape. tape. Deckle should be no problem. Carafilm's a little bit large around the numbers, a little bit of trimming maybe. 
good micro soul set or good decal solution should go down and sort that out should be all right you got also the horse symbol and then if you wish to uh, have it on the stand you can use the uh, num uh, the name at the bottom as well so that's a nice touch so we will take a look at the uh, upper hole these are sealed bags so I'm going to have to cut these open inside of the tank uh, information again detail is really really nice actually it's got a like, cast textured metal on it so if you're having no zimmer it's going to come out nicely weld lines look pretty nice even down to the teeth is moulded in there so a little bit of not silver but a little bit of actually I suppose it would be silver and a little bit of a wash on there once it's all done because they're going to be worn where the turret rotates you're going to have to cut this section out so you can fit your hatch nice texture on the side extra pins on the inside but you're not going to see any of those this is the lower hole bathtub hole again it's got the same texture on the lower hole these are not very nice and and it's got the stamp on the inside ejection pins again don't worry about it you're not going to see it um, unfortunately the torsion bars that you're going to have to be careful when lining them up by looks of things because there's no tabs like there is on the Tamir kit they have these little locking pieces that when you put them in you turn it to one way and it locks in one way so the torsion bars don't like twist out of place this doesn't look like it's got that so a little bit of care when putting in the torsion bars weld seams and texture on your turret we have this little piece in this bag I'm not actually going to take this out I've got no need to is a Zimrit piece of a gun cover I just imagine there'd be one in there without Zimmer on it, so obviously because you've got the option. And here you've got two sprues of the same, which contains the uh, dry sprocket and exhaust system, and looks like the idler wheel. So there's two of these. So nice, nicely detailed on the uh, dry sprocket. Yeah, the exhaust system a little bit drilled out. You might want to do that a little bit more deeper. Even down the bottom part is cast, so the detail on this is really, really nice. I was surprised. Even down some of the tools. Here we've got the turret. The turret's got that cast texture in, in, in into it. I don't know if you can see that on camera. A little bit of marbling on top there, but once you got a little bit of paint on it, it should be no problems. Get your pins on the inside again, you're not going to see any of that, so no worries. Nicely done. Again, this is the Henschel turret, which is more square compared to the prototype, was more rounded. As I say, check that video out. And, uh, more information on it. This bag here, we have your gun, hatches. 
So yeah, I was right. There's the uh, gun cover without zoom it. Here's your main barrel of your gun, molded as one piece. Like I say, it's not slide molded or anything, but you do have. Come on, focus. There is a, there is a burr line on top of that. You got your hatches, commander's cupola, jack. Small detail parts on this one. The breech section, part of the uh, grill section as well. The covers go on. This is part of the gun as well. There's that wooden block. Lower, lower turret. So this, here's the lower turret which should be facing this way down so you're not going to see a lot of it. Even though they've done the nice bolts on it. The hatches, air covers which is here. I think this is on the inside or that could be the outside. But this is front part of the front of the tank turret, front part. This piece goes on top of this, this piece on top of that. There's part of your gun gun mantlet. Again, it's cast metal texture, which is a nice touch. You have two types actually on this kit. These ones and this one. I don't know what the difference is. I don't remember seeing that in the instructions. I'm gonna have to go back and check that out. The hatches. The cut one of the covers that go over the exhaust system. Should be another one of those somewhere. The, the uh, gun breech. Not gun breech, but the, uh, the mu muzzle flash piece. Here we have the side skirts, rear deck, and fenders. So, again, let's turn it upside down. And Nice texture on the rear of the cast metal. Actually, it wouldn't be cast, it would be uh, just plain metal sheeting actually, but it's still got the metal texture on it, which is nice, and you can actually feel it as well. I'm impressed on the detail on this kit, it's, it's superb. You've got the whole tyre with side fenders, but again, I'm only going to use section of this, so I'm going to cut it. Front fenders, side fenders at the front. The engine deck, again, it's got all the nice detail, and you've got your grills to go on this. In this one, we have the clear cupolas and stuff, so that's nicely done. I'm going to leave that as is. I'm going to take that out. The rear, rear um, hatch to the uh, turret, one with Zimmer. One of the uh, machine guns. I think this one might be on the actual turret itself for the commander. So is it the MG60 or MG32? I'm not sure. And then you've got um, two more machine guns in this bag. The same. It's like we've got some fragile parts in this one because it's got protection foam again i do like how they do this because they do take care of their kits and package it really well with protection of foam be careful so what we got underneath here ah oh, these fine detail parts so we've got handles And pins, your tow cable, toolbars, transmission casing, exhaust system, commander's cupola. This is part of commander's cupola. Looks like we've got part of the turret, part of the uh, 
tow it as well there. More tow hooks on both sides and cables. So yeah, this is a nice, nice sprue. Be careful with this one, put this to one side. So we have two bags, but consist of four sprues the same. So all all these sprues in these two bags are exactly the same. So we only need to open one and take a look at one because you get four of them. This would be road wheels and torsion bars, and I believe in this one. Excuse me for a minute. Alright, that's tricky to get that bag off without ripping it. So, we say we have four of these, but in two bags. So, here's torsion bars. This is here. Part of the road wheel system. Road wheels inner and outer road wheels and then you have the actual suspension hanging points so, so the torsion bar will go on the back of these and then the wheels sit on the other end the torsion bars is designed to these bars are designed to flex and then spring back into place it's a uh, quite a uh, ingenious design actually and they still use the uh, leaf spring system today on tanks Here's a giant bag of link on link tracks. Again, you don't have to use these. Um, you can buy aftermarket, which would be the Flory tracks, which are metal, which would, wouldn't be too bad to buy for this actually. Um, but I've, if you don't want to use these, I'd say you've got the Flory option, but there's no rubber tracks, um, so you've got no choice but to build these. Like there's five of these sprues in, in one bag so it's going to take a little bit of work but like I mentioned before to make time a little bit quicker cut these off as normal cut these off as normal sandwich them as one piece but when it comes to attach your guide horns instead of cutting them let me explain this instead of cutting them right at the edge here it should be be here instead of cutting them right at the edge cut them up the top so you've got this little tab piece then glue these in, into the holes uh, in, in place once it's all set you can come along and cut all of them off swipe with a sanding stick in one go instead of like cutting it sanding it cutting it sanding it cutting it sanding it and gluing it in place you'll be there for blooming days and hours so it's quicker if you cut these with tabs on, glue them straight into place and then, then clean them up at the end. Also I noticed inside the kit, quickly, you do get some advertisement for tools and upcoming kits. There's the uh, Tiger that we were talking about. They've got Tomcat armour. This is what the kit you buy it for, for the Zimmer. Again, this Zimmer is very thin plastic moulded card, whatever you want to call it. Um, so you, you can cut this out to shape. And because it's plastic, you have got zero on both sides. Uh, so which side do you need to use? I don't think it matters. Probably this side because this is more raised than the other side. This is quite smooth and this is more raised so it probably be this side onto the tank. Um, as I was going to say, uh, if you look at the pattern, it's really, really symmetrical. So 
uh, the reels in it when it was put onto the tank is really rough and worn so I do recommend if you've got the tools to do the Zimmet yourself and you've got the skill to do it then then do it tools you can use for instance which I bought not long ago because I do want to try Zimmeret because some kits that I've got require Zimmeret but I haven't actually got the Zimmeret for it which is this Zimmeret kit tool um, I will do a review on this separately so if you have something like this I recommend trying the Zimmeret Oops, sorry about that guys, not the camera again. As I say, uh, pre-made Zimmer, cut these out carefully. It will glue on the tank with normal cement because it's just normal plastic, like styrene, so it should go down normally. But I'm going to chip mine up on the corners and stuff and make it a little bit not so uh, plain, even though it's symmetrical. Once everything's gone down, paint washes and everything, it should all blend in. So the only way you're going to notice it is if you really stare at it and, and, and actually physically notice it. But once everything's gone down, it should be all right. But as I say, I'm going to build this straight out of the kit with no problems. But once you've cut these out, this all this spare zimmer on the outside, I recommend you save this because you might be able to use that for other projects. <clears throat> So you've got this section here is for the turret, so the two sides, the rear, the front corner pieces I think. Um, this could probably goes round the round the actual turret bits as well. Again, which side is which? Yeah, so it looks like this side here just oh no. This side looks like the one is what you want to stick to the tank because this is more rougher so this will be the side you stick to the tank so it's, it's, it's nice it's, it's a nice idea um, as I say if you've got the skills to do Zimmerit then I recommend you actually do Zimmerit yourself but it's a nice touch that they give you this there you go it goes guys and girls uh, another kit from Hobby Boss pretty good Tiger in my opinion details pretty good it's a decent price only £25 £26 mark area you can't grumble for a, a kit of this size and plus you get the zimmer that comes in the kit so it's easy for someone that is just starting or got a little bit of skill behind them and they want to put zimmer on their tank it's a good good idea to do it there is a Tiger 1 out from Hobby Boss that do the same kind of Zimmer technique and I do want to try and get that kit uh, but that one's quite hard to find but I recommend checking this kit out or if you've got it in your stash build it spend some time on the bench as I say like comment subscribe and I'll catch you later